The first five years of this decade are not ones that Tennessee would volunteer to remember, 28 and 34. Last season, it looked like it was going to be another not-so-good season, losing four of their first seven. But they turned things around, finished the season ranked in the top 25, and entering 2016 with nearly everybody back, Butch Jones and the Volunteers might be ready to move to another level. And that nine-win total from last season included a six-game winning streak to close out the season. The nine wins, by the way, was the most that any Tennessee team has had since Philip Fulmer coached there eight years ago. And a wealth of experience does return for the balls, including the quarterback, Joshua Dobbs, who accounted for 23 TDs a year ago, 11 on the ground. And the one thing you like to see, though, from him, improve that completion percentage. It was only 59% a year ago, plus the coaches need to entrust him more down the stretch in ball games, which we'll talk about later. Running game, solid. Jalen Hurd, nearly 1,300 yards and a dozen TDs. Alvin Kamara had seven TDs. Both are back. You will miss, though, the receiver and Bomb Pearson, but nearly everybody else comes back, including the Joshes, that's Malone and Smith, and most of the offensive line is intact, though the left tackle, Kyler Kerberson, all SEC will have to be replaced. But you do have another SEC player to remember, and that's going to be the left guard, Deshaun Robertson, and complimenting him on the other side will be right guard, Dylan Weissman. Yep, that stat says it all. Three games in which Tennessee lost despite having decent-sized leads. A big part of that can be contributed to conservative play calling down the stretch. They have to be a little more unpredictable offensively in the fourth quarter. And if the O can come through in the clutch, that should take a little bit of pressure off the D. And Tennessee's defense last year did a good job. Only 20 points per game is what they allowed. They'll have a new defensive coordinator in Bob Shoup, who formation-wise will keep the D at a 4-3. Derek Barnett. One heck of a defensive end, already 141 career tackles for him in just two seasons. Linebackers, this will be the area that will change a little bit because it's going to be more aggressive. Expect the linebackers to blitz more often with Jalen reeves Maven at the weak side, middle linebacker Darren Kirkland. Biggest reason why they're going to be more aggressive is because they can trust the secondary. The corners, both terrific, including Cam Sutton, could be All-American. And the strong safety, Todd Kelly, who started twice last year but played all 13 games and was fifth on the team in tackles. Hey, Johnny, how about a beer, huh? Yeah, it's a good idea. Does Massachusetts. Hey! Looking at the six-pack of games to consume, it'll be the middle part of the schedule that will determine if the Volunteers have a riot. That includes the two toughest games from the division, Florida and Georgia back-to-back. And remember, last year, Tennessee did play Alabama tough. With all the experience back and with a more promised aggressive defense, I think this is a year where Tennessee gets over the hump to a degree. I got them winning the SEC East and facing Bama in the SEC championship game.